when you have a requirement of copying large number of files from windows to your linux machine copying the files directly is a hectic process like let's say if you just drag and drop to your ftp in, into the, your linux server it, it will take time so this might not be a useful option for you the best option in windows is that you should install a utility called 7zip you can download from this website uh, once you have downloaded and installed it it will show it, it will start showing this option within your context menu here in the 7zip so let's try to create archive from this folder let's say we want to copy this one we will click on right click on this go to 7zip and add to archive you will see that it will start compressing the files in this format and let's see once it's complete we see that uh, it created the same folder name dot 7z so what we see is that it created the file with the size of 19 mb let's see how much size was of the original folder so if i right click and go to properties you see the original folder was 100 mb and it has compressed it only to the 19 mb so it's very it has compressed a lot and now if we try to copy it will transfer it quite fast so see this is done so how we can extract this file within our linux machine this is how we can do it so first of all you log into your linux machine and go to the folder where you copied this file so here i can see my file here I need to install uh, if I'm doing this on Linux uh, on CentOS uh, whatever operating system if you are using Ubuntu you can install the same package in Ubuntu as well you can look at the uh, release of your Linux from here from this command so I am on CentOS 7 the package for me is called p 7 zip this is the package name that I need to install I'll press enter And it will show me that it's going to install this package and i'll press yes now i have this package installed now let's try to review where is our file so our file is in this location let's try to extract it to extract is the command is called 7za and to extract the option is x and then the file name that you want to extract and when you press enter you see that it has extracted this folder here successfully and it is quite fast as well let's say you want to do the reverse way like let's say we want you want to copy something from linux and into your windows machine you can do the same thing on linux as well so let's say this is my folder and if i delete this file let's try to create this again so to create this on linux the command is 7za and a for archive so x is for extracting a is for archiving and the name of your file that you want to keep after creating the archived file so i'll name it 7z and the path where you want to archive it from so the file name that you want to create and from the folder you want to create folder or file you put it in the next parameter so you press enter And you will see that it has started creating the archive for us here you go so file is created and you can see that this is the same size as it was like we created from windows so i hope it helps thank you for watching